multiple choice tip number 10. This is for inverses, which the symbol for inverses is given here. That's f inverse of x. So that's what you should be looking for for these questions. If you need to find the inverse of a function, copy down a few numbers from the table, switch x and y, and then use trial and error to find the, uh, with the answer choices to find the correct answer. So you're going to type your original function from the question into your calculator, go to the table. You're going to copy down three or four points using integer values only, no fractions, no decimals. So let's see what that looks like. So here's our first question. The inverse of a function f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 2. So I'm going to go to my calculator and type this in. So in my y equals, I want a fraction, alpha y equals, enter. My numerator is x plus 1. My denominator is x minus 2. I want to go to my table, so second graph. And I want to choose some values in the table that do not have error and do not have fractions. So I'm going to choose 1, negative 2. 3, 4, and 5, 2. So if I go back to my worksheet, these are the points that I chose. And then if I'm going to find the inverse, that means I have to switch x and y. So I did that, and this is my new table. So now I have my new table, and now this is my goal. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to the answer choices and type each of these into y equals until I find that table that I'm looking for. So I will do number one with you just so you can see. I'm going to go back to my calculator, go back to the y equals, clear it out alpha y equals enter again because I want a fraction. The first answer choice is x plus 1 over x plus 2. I want my table again, so second graph, and I'm looking for the point negative 2, 1, 4, 3, and 2, 5. Negative 2 comes up as an error, so I know that can't be there, but if you want to just double check, 4 is supposed to be 3, it's 5, 6, so I know that that's not my answer. So I cross off answer choice 1, I now go to answer choice 2, go back to y equals and type it in. This is the table that I get, negative 2, 1, that works, 4, 3, that works, 2, 5, that works. So answer choice 2 is my answer. If answer choice 2 didn't work, I would cross it off go to choice 3, go back to y equals, type it in, and repeat this process until I find the goal table.